Red Widow is actually based on a Dutch series, correct? So how much should viewers be expecting to see similarities with that and the current ABC show? Well, the original series was tremendous. I mean, it's really great. Um, it has a, I think, a slower pace to it. It's a European show, and the pacing there is, you know, uh, it's probably much more of a character drama. And um, we sort of sped it up, if you will, uh, but just infused it with, with um, a lot more incident and, and building in uh, the characters, really bringing in secondary characters uh, and making them stronger and, and more present, I think giving them some pretty complex stories. And so what for you is most appealing about writing for Marta? Marta is one of my favorite characters I've ever had the pleasure of writing. I mean, she is a, a very, she has a very strong moral center, but is forced to make some pretty immoral decisions. Her, her main only focus is to protect her children. She's a fierce mother. And to do that, she will do anything. I mean, she goes you know, further and further into the, you know, the, the depths of the criminal underworld, uh, all in an effort to protect her children. And, and she's, she's flawed. She makes mistakes. She screws up. It's time on network television that we have a strong female character who's flawed, you know, in Shades of Grey. That, that's been the, not Shades of Grey, the book. <laughs> uh, that's been the, you know, the, the world cable where you can have those sort of characters. But network, I think it's time we got some really you know, real women and characters. We do see like a male foe in the premiere. Do we have any female foes going up against her or is it just? We do, as a matter of fact. Uh, coming up in episode five, we will be introducing uh, a character played by Bronca Kotick and uh, beautifully. And that will be an interesting dilemma. But she'll all, there are any number of foes, not, not, uh, lim not limited to Schiller. Okay. Well, what can you say about that character? Because he, there's such a presence by him, and then his introduction in the pilot is pretty chilling. Yeah. You know, I had written the part of, of Schiller for Goran. Okay. Goran Vizhnik, and uh, he he turned me down for the pilot, uh, and then I I came back to him afterwards and say, see, this is what we're doing, and he's like, and he's finally he signed on and has been this incredible person to work with. I mean, he's so lovely. Um, but what he brings to the character of Schiller is there's this really interesting dynamic between him and Marta, and it's very interesting chemistry. And so you have these two people who, the last person in the world they want to be attracted to is each other. Uh, there is enormous hurdles between them, and yet it's there. They're denying it, but it's there. There's, and you can feel it as you watch them. You can really feel that chemistry. Should fans expect to see sparks perhaps ignite in the first season? I think fans will, will see some sparks. Well, I, I can't tell you how far it will go, but I think there is, this is, uh, you know, that, that, this is the, the bad guy where you're going, oh, no, don't go for him. But, oh, yeah, kind of go for him. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to, you know. 